So my art is mixed media. I um, really had a lot of fun with this collection because it started on a whim. My son Chance and I were actually at Home Depot and we spotted this piece of MDF board in the bargain bin. And I looked at it, I'm like, wow, this is a really cool piece. I wonder if they can cut it down for me, you know, and then I can use it as, as my substrate. So they did. And I just went home and started just pouring my heart into the art. And so, you know, it started off as collage and I added some acrylics. And then I just went with an intuitive process. I had no idea what any of these pieces were going to be when they first started. So as I kind of just used my own intuition and started applying different mediums, it, things just started emerging. That's why I called the collection Finding Her because it was as if I was finding myself again. And as each one came to life, she gave me a face, she gave me a feel, and then I would end up giving her her words at the very end. And so, finding her. When I do this, and when I sit down to intentionally apply the brakes and to have that conversation with my soul, I'm filling myself back up again. I'm replenishing my reserves. And it does affect every other aspect of my life because when I'm able to replenish my own resources, I can show up the way I want to show up because I'm not drained and I'm not stuck in some crazy sympathetic overdrive, you know, and I've had that balance. So I've had that nice calming pause. We're supposed to be connected, you know, as, as human beings, we are social creatures. And so it's very important to have strong connections in a community that you feel aligned with. Uh, every time I walk through this door, a smile is on my face and I can't wait to engage. Uh, it's been nothing but positive. Now it has just grown into a very accessible, um, supportive, community of artists that just want to, you know, promote and connect and help each other survive and thrive. And it's something that I really want to be a part of because it just feels like we're, we're really looking out for one another. Well, I am still working very much on creating more ladies. Um, it's just where my mind is right now. I just, I love the process. I sit down, um, you know, it's turned into a habit at this point. And I like just sitting down with my, my still using my MDF substrate and Scott up at the Home Depot knows who I am. And you know, we're, I, I'm just cruising right along. <laughs> So when other people view my art, I hope it really speaks to their soul. When I was coming up with the, the title for this collection, I just settled on finding her because, you know, in my world we talk about it as like a soul retrieval or even uh, listening for the heart whispers. You know, what, is, what does your heart want to say to you? You know, what does your, your inner self want to say? Because I really feel it's speaking on all of those levels, you know, it's, it's, it's very introspective and I hope that it touches upon someone else's inner voice and allows it to speak. So I want whoever buys my pieces to have a, a soul connection, right? I want it to, to touch them in a way that sort of inspires a little bit of a deeper introspective look within because that's what this was all about.